Ik ben Gert-Jan. Ik heb een keurslagerij. En mijn grote passie is open water zwemmen in zee. Als ik zwem in zee met een pittig windje, aan de bovenkant is het chaos. Maar op het moment dat je je hoofd in het water steekt, is er opeens dodelijk stilte. En zo is het met ons mensen ook. Wat je vandaag de dag aan informatie binnenkrijgt, dat is pure chaos en angst. Zodra je echt in jezelf keert... Dan is er stilte. In 2015 heb ik een poging ondernomen om het kanaal over te zwemmen. Wat me helaas niet is gelukt. Nu train ik op een veel breder niveau. Ik zwem niet alleen, maar ik doe aan crossfit. Ik ben instructeur van de Wim Hof methode. Dus ik zit regelmatig in mijn kliko. Juist om die ontspanning te zoeken. Buiten dat het goed voor je lichaam is. En je immuunsysteem ontzettend goed traint. Ik heb 30 jaar lang astma gehad. Waar ik nu nul last meer van heb. Juist omdat ik... Beter op mijn adem ben gaan passen, koude training ben gaan doen en eigenlijk meer contact met mezelf ben gaan zoeken. Van waarom leef ik zo? Waarom leid ik mijn leven zoals ik hem leef? En ik ben het gewoon anders gaan doen. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little portrait of Gert Jan. I certainly enjoyed it a lot shooting it. And um, in this part of the video, I'd like to take you guys with me on the behind the scenes of this whole thing. This entire video, plus the behind the scenes shots that you're about to see, are all shot for a YouTube format for Sony Holland. So they asked me if I wanted to shoot something on the FX30, and I said yes. There's another production company involved that made this all possible. They kind of contacted me with the question of what do you like to shoot with this camera? And I said like, well, I think it's cool to do something with water. So then they started searching for someone that had anything to do with swimming. Now, long story short, we found Gert Jan, a 59 year old butcher living in Den Helder, which is like the most northern part of Holland. And he is extremely passionate about swimming in open water, so the ocean mostly, and also like cold exposure training, Wim Hof method, all that stuff. All right, on to the shooting day. The whole shoot was done in one day, except for some behind the scenes stuff that we did the day after. We had four locations. The first one was his house. The second one was his butchery shop. The third one was the church where he does the meditation. And the fourth one was, of course, the ocean. The day started at his house. It's always nice to start in someone's safe place to make him or her comfortable and to drink a little cup of coffee and to chat about what he can expect during the day and what I expect from him. Now, after that, we went upstairs to the place where he stores his wetsuit and all his, his gear. And we did a little bit of shooting there. It was like 10 minutes maybe. I just wanted him to pack a little bit of the, of the gear and I used it eventually in the edit, so that was good. Then after that, we went to the butchery and that was basically the part that the film started with. I thought it was hilarious to see him sit in a, like a, a, a wheelie bin, you know, doing his cold exposure training next to like a, a meat grinder. And it, I don't know, it was just a, a fascinating image to me. Hopefully you experienced the same way, like a, like a what moment, maybe. We shot a little bit inside that cooler. After that, we went to the church. And this was actually the place where a lot of the, the, the rest, the peace moments were filmed because I wanted to have a break in the middle of the video to have a little bit of a breathing moment. 
and I knew that meditation was a perfect moment for, for that to happen. So I also wanted to show the five axis stabilization of this camera. So I did a lot of that handheld, which to me looked pretty good. Um, and of course, as you could see, the sun came through the window, which was a blessing really. <laughs> like sometimes you just need mother nature to help you a little bit. I didn't really have anything planned shot wise, but I just let gert -Jan do his thing there and I just followed him. After following him for the first time, I kind of knew what he was doing and what he was, uh, what his regular routine was. So then we just staged a couple things in parts to get multiple angles. After that, we went to the ocean, the beach. This was of course the, the most exciting part. This was also the part that I really needed to be good. And something that was really at our advantage and something that Gert Jan likes as well, is the fact that the ocean was really rough. <laughs> it was extremely windy. It was extremely uh, like wavy, bumpy, whatever you want to call it. I love this because it really shows that this man is going through everything to just go out and swim. You know, he's not quitting because it's stormy or it's not quitting because there is a lot of current or... So that was really nice for me to see and to capture. A little bit on the technical aspect of this whole shoot. All right, so we shot everything on the FX30, and so the new Sony FX30. I kind of rigged it out a little bit, so I put a V-lock on the back and I have my monitor on the top to have a little bit more of a weight to it. There's a couple things that I think are extremely powerful about this camera, especially if you're working in uh, difficult situations, for example, in the water. All the buttons on the Sony FX30 are customizable. On the top, I had my white balance button switched over to AFMF toggle. This is extremely powerful if you just want to set focus on a specific area. You click the button and it switch over to manual focus and the focus distance is set without you having to switch um, the switch on the lens which you cannot reach because it's in the water housing. Another one that is really powerful is the ISO button. When I am shooting, I always shoot in Cine EI, so I cannot really use the, you know, the regular uh, ISO values as you may, you know, use on your hybrid cameras. So I use that ISO button to switch base ISOs. All right, so I have the base ISO set to 800, but if I need more light, then I press that button and it flips up to 2500. Next up, the in-camera memories. So I set my MR1 to 25, MR2 to 50 and MR3 to 100. And I also change the respective shutter speeds. Because this camera does not have a shutter angle, I need to work with shutter speeds. And I don't really want to you know, change that with a dial in the water. So I set these menus up to really quickly switch from uh, 25p with one over 50 shutter to 50p with one over 100 shutter or 100p with one over 200 shutter. You still with me? So the camera is super customizable and that's something I really, really like. I shot everything on the 16 to 35 and 24 70. Um, the reason for this is because I have a housing with these ports. I always shot everything with a one four, one a quarter, one fourth mist filter. That is kind of the gloom you can see around the highlights that is because of the mist filter. I personally really enjoyed this project because I was very interested at what Gert Jan has to say because he switched his life around at the age of 50 and that is something that is really interesting to me. Now he lost about 20 kilos and he is like super fit and also his goal is really interesting to me. He wants to swim across the channel which is like one of the hardest swimming marathons out there. So to me it's just cool to hear someone like that talk in front of the camera with so much passion and yeah. So, um, I think that was really, really nice. Hopefully you enjoyed this little breakdown of this video. If you did, let me know. If you don't, also let me know. I love feedback, so I can, you know, make my videos better. Thanks for watching, and we'll, uh, we'll catch each other very soon.